Now, meanwhile, some of the last remaining Jews in Yemen have arrived in Israel to escape the war in the country. For more on this, let's go to Greg Kallstrom in Tel Aviv. Uh, so, Greg, just tell us more about this uh, latest removal of, of, Israel, of Jews from Yemen. Well, Israeli officials are billing it as the last group of Yemeni Jews uh, who will leave the country. It's a group of 19 who arrived, uh, 17 of them arrived last night. The other two arrived earlier this month. Uh, they're part of a, a years-long wave of immigration from Yemen. There have been about 200 Yemeni Jews who have come to Israel over the past few years, as you said, to escape the, the civil war there and the conflict there. Uh, there used to be a thriving community there for centuries. There were tens of thousands of Jews in Yemen. Most of them left during a short period after the State of Israel was founded in 1948. About 50,000 of them uh, left in the span of just a few years. But there was a small community that decided to stay put. Uh, they've complained in recent years of increased discrimination, hostility, uh, violence, and particularly since 2011, uh, when Yemen went into a period of, of political unrest. Uh, and so this most recent group to arrive, we don't know exactly how they got here. We know that it was a convoluted operation that the U.S. State Department helped the Israeli government get them out of Yemen into Israel. They are not the last Jews in Yemen. There's still a group of about 50 of them uh, who have told the Israeli government that they don't want to leave and they don't want any help uh, in leaving from the Israeli government. So they're going to stay put there, uh, which means that these 19 who arrived this month are probably the last Yemeni Jews who will leave the country. Uh, and Greg, it strikes me as a similar uh, situation to what happened with uh, Jews in Uganda uh, a few decades ago. This was a clandestine operation. Uh, what will happen to these, uh, these citizens once they arrive in, in Israel? Well, probably a, a period of uh, culture shock and getting over the transition. Uh, there have been hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of Jews who have come here from Arab countries over the past few decades. In fact, most of Israel's population uh, actually is descended from uh, Jews from Arab countries. Uh, initially, in the first few decades of the state, they were subject to a lot of discrimination. Uh, Arab Jews were put into camps. They were considered inferior by the government, which was then largely dominated by European Jews. Uh, that has shifted in recent decades. It still remains a fault line in Israeli politics and society, but uh, the situation has become certainly much more equalized than it once was. Uh, so the Jewish agency, which is a sort of quasi-governmental body that deals with immigration here, uh, it's going to be involved in resettling these uh, Jews from Yemen, finding them housing, finding them work, and that sort of thing. Well, Greg, for now, from Tel Aviv, thank you so much.